learning from home may increase anxiety in young students. Rosie Mejia is a seventh grader at San Joaquin Elementary School. She's always been a shy person, and when she's in class, she does not turn on her camera. I don't like having it on because I'm like shy and I feel uncomfortable showing my face when like nobody else does in the class. Rocio's younger brother skipped class to avoid feeling nervous and overwhelmed. He said that he was very, very nervous and he didn't like want to go because of that. The connection between an, a student and an educator is important, but with online learning, this interaction is harder to obtain. Right. The lack of engagement, the one-on-one -on -one engagement with the educator is, is not allowing for that message to come across. It's not allowing, like, hey, everything's fine. Everything's okay, right? And so now they have this tremendous amount of workload, tremendous amount of self-teaching that they have to do. Anxiety can manifest in different ways. To help their children, Experts say parents and teachers should be attentive and understanding. Well, the first thing is to allow the student to, to understand that their position is totally normal. Anyone else with their circumstances in their situation would feel the same exact way. Normalizing their feelings can help young students improve in their academics and help them believe in themselves. Anna Cruz Lopez, Fresno State Focus.